Here we have the Ajaz AK680 Max HE from Mechlands, a wired 65% top mounted keyboard designed for both functionality and performance. Now, this keyboard supports NKRO and boasts an impressive 8000 Hz polling rate following the new standard for professional esports. It features magnetic switches and a PCB equipped with advanced magnetic functionalities like mod tap, toggle key, rapid trigger, SOCD and dynamic keystroke. I won't delve into each magnetic switch feature as they're easily found online. The software is entirely web-based, eliminating the need for downloads or installations of potentially dubious programs. I personally appreciate this approach as it allows you to customize your keyboard on various devices with ease. Now, my unit came equipped with magnetic rise switches which have a 40 gram actuation force. If you're not a fan of these switches, the Hotswap PCB supports two pin magnetic switches making it easy to swap them out to suit your preferences. Specs wise, this is really good on paper, but what about its software and build? This video is brought to you by Mechlands. Visit their website for a wide range of selections from keyboards to DIY kits to keycaps and switches. They offer a 30-day refund for defects and a 15-day no questions asked return policy. Their Amazon link will also be in the description below. So looking at the software here, you have your regular key binding settings right here. Under the stroke settings here, you can change the actuation points of your keys. Just choose all buttons and then edit and then click on confirm. On the advanced settings, you have dynamic keystroke, mod tap, toggle key, and snap tap. I tried snap tap a while back. It's very easy to set up and I have it activated on END. Next for the function settings here, you can change alternate functions except for the red ones. Onto the macro tab, I tried recording a macro a while ago and yes, it detects even your mouse clicks and even the middle mouse button. Onto the light tab, there are lots of lighting modes here that you could choose from. The rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Onto the share tab, you can share your light settings, you can share your key binds, and even your macros with a community of people that also uses EJAS keyboards. Down at my account, you can log in, register, import and export your settings. And the last tab here is again, pretty much self-explanatory. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. The box contents for the EJAS AK680 Max include the keyboard, manual, cable, a keycap puller, and a PET dust cover. A thoughtful addition, especially at this price point. The cable is a standard plastic coated one and the keyboard itself features a well-constructed full plastic case. Although it weighs only 700 grams, it exhibits minimal reverberation, providing a solid and stable typing experience. The dampers consist of porn foam throughout the keyboard, which significantly enhances sound absorption, contributing to a quieter and more satisfying typing feel with very little rattling. Onto the top side, the USB-C port is positioned on the left, which I find ideal for maximizing space for the right hand, especially useful for gamers and professionals alike. Underneath, the keyboard includes two level kick-up feet for customizable typing angles and rubber anti-slip pads to keep it securely in place during use. Overall, the build quality is solid and I have no complaints about its design or construction. This keyboard is equipped with Cherry Profile PBT Double Shot Topographic Shine through keycaps. Having reviewed similar keycaps before, I can confirm based on input from other manufacturers that this design is particularly challenging to produce and more costly. The stabilizers, while pre-lubed, aren't perfectly tight, resulting in slight rattling. Applying tape to the stabilizers can easily fix the issue. For those seeking even smoother performance, additional lubing, particularly around the stabilizer elbows, can further enhance their smoothness and sound. The switches are branded AJAZ, featuring a 40 gram actuation force. These are called the magnetic rice switches, and I think this leans more towards the thocky side versus clacky. In fact, I think these just may be the best sounding magnetic switches I've tried, but that could be just due to the case material and dampers. There are a lot of factors to consider. Anyways, here's a sound test. This keyboard is available in six color options, catering to a wide variety of PC setup aesthetics. The black shine through topographic themed keyboard we're reviewing here is anything but minimalist. It's bold and eye-catching. There's branding on the lower right and the housing features a standard ABS plastic texture with slight gloss. Functional light indicators are included for caps lock, win lock, and OS settings, adding a practical touch. The RGB lighting is decent, it is bright, and I think it makes the topographic shine through keycaps more eye-catching. While the aluminum plate is anodized silver, 
a white coating could have amplified the shine for a more vibrant look. Still, the silver finish works just fine. Multiple RGB modes are available and you can refer to the manual or the software for additional customization options. Now, I might have missed something. I'm sure I did. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And don't forget to check the links in the description to mechlands.com. See you guys next time.